Come on, people. Okay. You're playing a childhood favorite. Never played this game, you totally should. So this isn't a speed run, this is just a playthrough of one of my favorite games. We'll see how far I get tonight. Yeah, I just I had some uh, leftover wine, so again not my first choice normally have which is water over any sort of alcohol. It's just it's gotten grosser and grosser the older I've got. However, I do occasionally like to have a lot of snake. But anyway, this is, what is this? Cabernet Sauvignon. So, I don't really know much about wine. Maybe that's because I've never really had someone to me about it. Going out and trying a bunch of wine doesn't sound like fun to me. That's just me. So in the background, you might be hearing, that's my uh, fat massage chair. I did a lot of work outside today, so... Uh, so glad that the weather's getting nice again. How long I can last. <laughs> Alcohol does two things. It makes me have to pee a lot and it makes me really sleepy. So, I don't have time to be I don't have time to be feeling sleepy. I have too much stuff to do. So that's just me. <laughs> I got stuff to do, things to do, supposed to pay people to see. So <laughs> Someone tried to tell me something that someone tried to say that I was lame because I don't like to drink alcohol. I was like, well, at least I don't need it to have a good time. <laughs> yep, still gross. <laughs> Super Mario RPG. Love this game. If you have never played this game, you totally, totally should. Love this game. Bomb dinner too. So this, so the wine doesn't really taste good to me, but the food is really good. So it's just maybe it's just reacting with the food better. But, uh, 
those of you who didn't know, I am vegan. So uh, I've been vegan for about 10 months. Um, nothing against meat. Meat tastes amazing. But my life has transformed in such an amazing way since I stopped eating meat. You know, I think being vegan could probably be very dangerous if you don't go about it correctly. Um, you know, you got to make sure you supplement. You got to make sure you get your vitamin B from other sources. So it's a little... It's pretty good. But anyway, I had like quinoa and peppers and avocado, some uh, seitan, fox meat, and some uh, some of my Beijing tofu with a bunch of spinach. So I love my spinach. And uh, yeah, the wine is sitting right before the sounds like so. a little bit. <laughs> it's probably the wine. <laughs> Music on this game is pretty cool. seen him do that move. <laughs> I've never seen Bowser do that move before, I don't think. And thus the adventure begins.
What a convenient way to get. I wish that could happen. Land right in my bed. Oh, well, I guess that'd be convenient, but. Uh. <laughs> Is there something called a door to go in and out of their houses? <laughs> the sarcasm, the jokes, and the puns, it's also pretty good on this game, I have to say. I can't go forward until I do what Toad says, I think. Oh wait, never mind, no. I'm supposed to go back to Bowser Keep and the bridge is supposed to fall. Right. The bridge is supposed to fall and you can't get back until the very, very, very end of the game. Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser. Get back to Bowser's Keep. On your head, reduce your HP level. Um, you could say sorry. <laughs> of course I do. You're just so well traveled and experienced, Mario. I just barely made it back into here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about time hits? Yup. Hey, you better watch out. He knows about time hits. He's gonna punch your lights out. <laughs> I could've sworn I remember it saying, it used to say, uh, you better watch out, he's gonna knock your block off. <laughs>
to farm all the XP I can. This game gets really hard. Even before halfway, it gets pretty difficult. So, you gotta definitely level up. Right, I just leveled up, so um, my uh, timed hit will take him out now. doesn't heal your flower points. I think those little mushrooms that come in the box do, in the coin box do. Or, uh, I think save point does too, if I'm not mistaken. a flower tab too, that'll also take it back up to max, so that's going to be 12. this through part through if you want you can save the flower tab so you run out again and then use this mushroom and that'll um, put your flower points back at full so you get to use twice as much basically only one fill up so you can do that too if you want I 
technically you could stay here and farm some XP before the next part. Which isn't a bad idea. Uh, it can be a little risky going further. Sometimes. You never know what you're gonna run into. Just die. <laughs> I sure did. I just uh, I wasn't expecting that. So I got to start way back over. Oh man. Oh, I gotta talk to Toad again. Okay. Hmm, I wasn't expecting to die there. This time, honestly, I'm going to just kind of run through and um, get back to where I was. some experience at a later time. So I'm gonna run through. I pretty much can survive on this part of the game without needing a lot of things. <laughs> Should I really be saying that considering you just died? Probably not. Um, but anyway, I should be good. Uh, 
Probably the best way to go about this is to do damage to both of them consecutively, and then because he's going to use Valor up, so that's going to up his defense. So it's probably better to hit both of them with the jump first. Yeah, that's probably the way to go about it. I don't think I've ever died on that guy before. Hmm. Eat the flower jar. So, funny thing is, the dialogue would be different if I had saved Toad back there. I think Toad might end up giving me something. I don't know, I'm not really worried about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the dialogue changes based on what you do and do not do in this game. I have noticed that. Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? Just give me time to go to my mother's wedding dress. Oh, I thought that was so awkward. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a couple of things here. So shirt, some pants. Um, oh, that's right, I didn't farm any experience. I don't have a lot to do with right now. Get one pick me up. It's okay, the coins will the coins will indeed come. Wait, no, don't wait. Ugh. There's a block up here that you can only get at the very beginning of the game, right here. I was trying to help on, but I'll live. This isn't a 100% speed run, so... <laughs> Let's drop my sporters. <laughs> Thank you. 
I remember I thought the game glitched. If you talk to this person, make sure you have to jump in order to move forward. I actually tried moving, pressing pretty much every button, except I didn't think to press jump. Gotcha. That's the only way you could end that scene. I even reset the game because I thought I did something wrong the very first time I played it, so you just gotta jump. When in doubt, just jump. He is gaming. Look at them eyes. I think you need to put the controller down. Oh, now look. I lost because of you. You know, I'm gonna keep talking to this guy. Name didn't. Dude, you lost because you suck. <laughs> Ain't got nothing to do with me. Shirt. Pants. And I got ten more coins. I didn't grind any coins, so I can't really use those yet. But, uh, I should be fine without them. Not really gonna run anyone, anyone who does poison anytime soon, I don't believe. At least not for a little while. your bazooka at home. You just think, if you had remembered to bring your bazooka, this game never would have even started. So, uh, everyone starts with at least one skill. I think Mallow... Actually, what, are, what is Mallow's starting skill? Oh, it is Thunderball. Okay. Mallow's really, really useful, I think. Um, I don't know what they do during speedruns, but... 
if you're playing this game through, he's very helpful. Especially with his timed hits, he can he can clean house. He can wipe the floor with the enemies in this game. I would say I like to tell you that. I'd say my favorite setup probably probably has Mallow in it for sure. I was just thinking that I needed to should have bought some more honey syrups, but now that gives me two. Oh, and I have a flower jar, so that's uh, three points. So wait until you either run out or get too low to use the item, or to, to use a skill, and then use that, it'll fill it up completely. Use that instead of a honey syrup. So it gives you some time to spam uh, your empower, so. Survive Thunder Bot. Okay. At least until I level him up, anyway. <clears throat> until I level him up, I mean. Um. I thought there was a hidden block here somewhere. I must be thinking of something else. So then I go ahead and use flower chart then. Put it all the way back up. So good way to save your honey syrups in the vine. can come in handy too, so yeah, Mallow's pretty useful all around. His attack isn't the greatest, but his uh, magic attack is pretty cool. And defense as well. He has better mega attack and mega defense. Mario has better attack and defense, but less uh, mega, of course. Actually, I'm curious. I'm gonna see if he's high enough to take out the canines now. Not quite. Nope.
Oh, I felt like I missed something for a second. It's probably just a mushroom. Oh, star! I believe I forgot that. Pretty close to leveling up again here now. First, this is kind of like your first real boss battle. Um, I think I'm being spired away. Ouch. I think Thunderbolt really does that much to him. Tell him fire. <laughs> yeah. Milo doesn't really do too much to the sky, so just let Mario handle it and have Milo defense and heal as necessary. His HP is low when he starts using that. Again. <laughs> I 
Alright. Got it back. So this is a fast way to exit, especially if you're in a really difficult area, you can use this. Um, I used to always walk back to the previous area and grind XP. I'm going to try and go without doing it this time, since I pretty much know how the game works, and I know tricks and things I can use to survive a little bit longer if I have to. So. But you can use that to pretty much get back to the beginning. Oh yeah, this part. Let me get that signet ring. There's a bunch of them. This game really had a lot of pretty much everything. They really did. They uh, thought they put a lot of thought into this game, and I really appreciate it. Maple juice, pick me up. I have to. Maple um, juices, pick me up. Oh, you can sell the wallet. I didn't know you could sell it. I guess if you're scrapped for cash, you could do that. I can't quite remember what you would get if you give it back to the guy who lost it. the part where you really need to rely on Mala and have Mario defend. So, uh, what I need to do, I need to get up his <clears throat> mega attack a little bit more, and then Mala will be ready to go. Oh, perfect timing. Yep. This is the part where I do like the way they do this game. Certain areas you have to rely more on certain people, so you really do have to get to know your team. I love level one. Yep, just enough. So really, do you want a flyer tab or do you want 123 points? It's up to you, really, you choose.
<laughs> now this guy can jump. <laughs> He's not even scared. That is one thing, you cannot use the flower tags or flower boxes during the time. So you do want to be mindful of that. Oops, forgot to do my timed hit. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. Just let Mario take care of these guys. If you don't have any in, uh, flower points, if you do have Mario defend and Mallow, it's, that's pretty much how you go to this. So. It'll probably work in your favorite in the back, right? Right, you can get a little more extra damage based on how you time it, so... Actually, yeah, whenever you save, it does take your uh, power back to full and your flowers back to full as well, so... Um, you can do that as well. If you want to save your flower tabs for while you're on your adventure or your honey soaps, um, that's another thing you can do. Still over there playing that game, dude. Uh oh, did I uh, click out of it? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is a different ROM I've never played before, so let me do a save state in case the game does decide to crash. Just gonna save. And, um, uh, let's go. Flowers are back to full, so you can do that as 
Time you save somebody, you do get something, so sometimes those random encounters can give you some pretty rare items. So it's best to help whoever you can. Give me something. Give him head. You may not sleep in the princess bed, if no matters. Okay, well I'm gonna jump on it though. <laughs> if there's anything I know about me, I would not be much for royalty. And dinners and yeah, it's not my thing. I'm too Guess what I found? It's a gold coin. Gold coin! And it's all mine! I found this in the cellar though, you can have this. <laughs> so the wake the uh, wake up hint is cool, prevents mute and sweep, so um I don't know if I will need it just yet. But I don't think you can get poison, so I'll give him mute and sweep instead. Yeah, I don't really care about titles and positions and all that stuff, so... I'm sure to be in royalty you have to fake smile a lot. And be around people you'd rather not be around because they have money that they can give you. That I don't really care about. That. Mario, the princess ain't here. Shoot. I just saved all y'all. I'm tired. I'm only dead. <laughs> nice. I'll give him another mega, mega upgrade. Handy. 
Are you gonna give me something or? That would be enough. Now there is a way you can. I wonder if I can do it. I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna save state. You can bypass this boss battle if you. You have to be really precise with it. If you can talk to the chancellor in the corner without generating a scene. I'm gonna try it again. If you can talk to the chancellor without getting the scene to react. I might be able to bypass it. Let's see if I can do it here. Get in the corner over here. Save it again right here. And then see if I can do this. You know what, I might not be able to do it. I'm gonna, but what I might do, I might try to come back and try it later, maybe. But I definitely know it's possible, so I'm gonna make sure I have that, I don't override that slot. But uh, yeah, this definitely possible. Yeah. So hopefully I can show you all that. Does much attack. Yeah, just four, so just have Mallow defend. Be too. Nice. Milo was PC, man. <laughs> I think he's one of my favorite characters. So versatile, you can do a bunch of stuff with him, so. Yeah, so there's a way you can hop on to, like, for like a split second, like a very small frame, you can hop onto one of the jumping shy guys and jump off of him onto the lair in the corner where the chancellor is. If you talk to him, it's so funny. You can talk to him and They'll be pretending as though the next scene, the boss has already been done, and the next scene is already showing. And they'll basically be walking through the boss and his minions. The screen will go dark, and then they'll disappear. So... <laughs> I 
<laughs> so I'm gonna save that state. I'm gonna try to come back to it later. It is possible to do. So yeah, basically, if you could get up here and talk to him while they're all jumping and everything, the song will play, the dialogue will play, and you'll... Uh, basically, <laughs> just amidst all of them jumping, all of this dialogue will take place. So. It's pretty funny to see. Yeah, the screen will go dark. And then that's what would happen. And you would actually have the very first star without actually getting it. So, that that is possible. Monster who crashed in the mushroom kingdom have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Our heroes move on toward Carol Sewers. So that little that scene earlier when the screen turned green after talking to her. Um, she heals your HP and your flower points. Uh, she only does that during that scene. She doesn't do it any further afterwards. Has to watch out for Bella. It's probably a little dark down here, so keep alert. to the end, drains the water.
get. I think that move probably was supposed to inflict fear. I'm pretty sure there was something up here. Is it a star? Yeah, I can't remember. Let's see if I can find out real quick. Okay, this boss right here is really hard. I would uh, recommend spamming some experience before you get to this guy because he can be pretty brutal. Actually, I'm going to do a safe state here, I think, too, because he can straight up work you over. He does a lot of damage. He wouldn't be that easy unless you had the jump shoes on. If you didn't have the jump shoes equipped, he would have been way more of a problem for me. True Form Pen is nice. It keeps you from turning into scarecrows and mushrooms. So that's uh, pretty useful to have. since I uh, drained the water already. can uh, inflict poison, so... You know what, you have so many options for this game. I do like that, like you have the ability, or the option to choose for stronger mega, stronger mega attacks, or if you want to have better defense, you got quite a few options to choose from. It also helps to this is a star. To kind of dictate what you should do next. This is a star, isn't it? 
Equip the wake up pin and put Ando pin on Mallow, even though it's a little less attack there. Can use pure water on the ghost. It, it does. Supposedly, if you get a hundred jumps in a row, you can um, you can unlock something. I've never done it. I always found it really hard. It's a snack attack, and you're it. Let's see how many I can do. Oh, two? That's it? Okay. Um, that's embarrassing. Head full of straw, give me a scarecrow, ra ra ra. Yeah, 
Uh, I was trying to get him before he did this. is really cool. It allows you to see how much HP an enemy has, and if you get the timed hit correctly, you can also sometimes see what their weakness might be. It can be quite funny, quite hilarious. There can be some jokes and puns that can also reveal an enemy's weakness too. So. Green coins are really important for later. You can get some really cool things with them. I have to come back for that one. Sixty to get rock coins, right? Knock knock shell. That's Mario's. You can sell that hammer.
You say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. <laughs> Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? <laughs> Where? Over verse. Hello, my boy. I've kept this from you until now, but you're not a tadpole. show. So you can leave him there on have this music like that. Or you can go ahead and give him this cricket pie. That's right, I forgot all about it. I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. So, the very first time I played this game, that song played the rest of the entire game until the very end. And I didn't know that you could give him a cricket pie right there. And basically, so when I got the froggy stick, I assumed there was going to be like a really strong item. I was like, it's nothing stronger than all the stuff I have now. So. <laughs> So the froggy stick. This is like the first main item for Mallow, so. There are some pretty cool things you can get. A couple. Um, 
froggy drinks, they're not bad. Oh, everyone recovers 30 HP. Um, if you go over here, you can do the toad, toad ski uh, musical thing. You can unlock some pretty cool things there, so. Yeah. But, um. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to wrap up my here for now. And, uh, should, I want to try to stream most of this game here, probably, probably over the course of the next couple of days here. Um, so we'll see what I can get back on. Also, I did find out that there is a Super Mario RPG randomizer out, so I want to try that too. So I guess I'm going to try both and, you know, I might deviate from one and go back to the other. But anywho, thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned and I will see you all next time.